Joining us now for reaction, Bill McGurn, Wall Street Journal columnist and Fox Business contributor. Bill, always wonderful to see you. And I want to start um, with some numbers from our latest Fox Business poll. Uh, Seventy percent, seven in ten Americans said that 2021 was a bad year. OK, 54 percent said they're not hopeful for the country's future. This administration has a huge problem on its hands right now, and it almost seems like the president, from his comments in the briefing today, is in denial. Yeah, I think they are in denial. Look, he, he came in, um, and there were comparisons to FDR or LBJ. He didn't have FDR, LBJ majorities. And I think he overpromised. He politicized COVID, you know, vowing to shut it down. He said he was going to improve our standing in the world. Um, he he attacked, you know, President Trump on the border. And look, it's all been a disaster for him. And I think the problem is it's not right or left, you know, that he's too. I, I mean, I think he's gone too far to the left. But the real problem is that by not delivering, Joe Biden is looking incompetent. People are beginning to think, along with his age mm. and hesitancy, that he's just in over his head, that the job is too big for him. And that's very hard to recover from. It sure is. And actually, um, his uh, performance in the briefing today was very lackluster. One of the biggest issues was you've had almost a year to prepare for the winter mm -hmm. surge. Where's the testing? Where are the therapeutics? You know, yes, there are some people resisting vaccinations, but there are other things that we can be doing here. And, and he almost seemed dumbfounded. He literally said, well, it just it crept up on us. We weren't prepared. Well, you know, it, it to me, it's a difference between governors and senators. Most of Joe Biden's experience, which he campaigned on, that was his primary selling point against his Democratic rivals, that he had the most experience in Washington with most of that nearly four decades in the Senate. Well, senators can go out and give a speech, big speech, but they're not really responsible for anything. Mm. Once you're president, you're responsible. Or if you're a governor, you got to get it done. You can't just make grandiose promises. So the Senate's an excellent place if you want to go on and, you know, kind of be a gas bag and give some long speech and so forth. But it, it doesn't seem to be doing Joe Biden any good. He can't even persuade fellow senators. This is a guy who is famous for his ability to make deals. And and it's just not there now. Yeah, I want to get back to Build Back Better for a moment because we have some sound bites that I want to play for you. Um, a montage of some of the voters in West Virginia and their reaction to Manchin digging his he heels in here. Listen to this. I support Joe Manchin 120 percent. I do have mixed feelings, but I also think he has West Virginians in mind. Nothing in that bill was going to help West Virginia. And in fact, it would cost us jobs. I'm praising him. I may consider voting for him next time. And it's not just voters there, Bill. I mean, there are people around the country that didn't want to see uh, this agenda push through. And, and they're saying, thank God Manchin is there to, to hold on to this no, at least for now. Yeah, I think he was in a position. He had drawn his red lines that actually would be a lot worse for him if he caved. As, as kind of those vignettes showed, there's no appetite in Virginia, West Virginia, for Build Back Better. Something like a poll from a, about a month ago showed, you know, more than two thirds of people against it. Joe Biden is, uh, Joe Manchin is twice as popular as Joe Biden. So all these threats by AOC, Chuck Schumer, Biden, Bernie Sanders, I mean, they're holding a gun to their own heads and threatening to shoot if Joe Biden, if Joe Manchin doesn't do what I think he's going to do and stand his ground. Yeah. Bill McGurn, thank you so much for that. Good to see you, sir. And if I don't see you, Merry Christmas.